Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and rank play is finally here for Call of Duty World War 2 and the gameplay you're watching is actually my second game that I've ever played in the rank playlist and if you're wondering about my stats, I'm gonna have them on screen for you guys right now. I ended up losing only two games out of 10, which is pretty damn good and I placed in the gold division. Now, I'm gonna be honest, my rank play experience was, wasn't all that bad, but I know a lot of players are having a horrible time playing, and I wanna talk about that with you guys in this video because I definitely do think rank play has some potential to be pretty fun. Now, one thing I find to be the biggest complaint is people who leave the game, and the reason why is because in the competitive playlist, if you're down one player, it's extremely hard for that team to win, and the reason why I lost two out of the games in my placement matches was because of teammates leaving the game early now I do kind of understand why someone would leave a game early because there really is no incentive for someone to continue on playing the match you know if you're just a casual player there is no XP you get towards your levels in game you can't earn supply drops you can't earn armory credits so there is literally no reason for someone to get on and play ranked right now unless you want to go for the master division gear set but besides that I can understand why a casual player or someone who wanted to try out rank for the first time does not want to continue on with the game. So there are two solutions in order to fix this. One would be to add some sort of incentive to play ranked or you can make a harsher punishment for players who leave the game. I feel that it should be a mix of the two but like I said there really isn't a reason for someone to stay in the game right now or even continue to play ranked after they place in a division. Second thing, it's not being able to party up with friends. Now on Monday, I planned on playing with friends and grinding out ranked play all weekend long, but when news came out that parties were disabled, I was really, really upset. Now, I get that they would rather have an accurate representation of data by making you play solo, but still, you know, there are players who don't know anything about competitive, they haven't seen any competitive gameplay, and then they go to play ranked, and they end up making you lose the game by either sucking or quitting mid-game. So I really do think Sledgehammer should add parties. In fact, it would have been better to literally just copy everything from Black Ops 2 League Play because I think it was a pretty good system compared to previous Call of Duty titles with a competitive game mode. But I want you guys to tell me your thoughts about this in the comments. Like, which Call of Duty game do you think had the best competitive playlist? Now, also one big complaint that a lot of players are having right now is some ranked play wins are not counting towards your record. Like, they're either counting as losses and I think I think one of my friends had this issue and Sledgehammer is aware of this and they are working to fix this. Also you might have noticed that this current rule set is not the new one that came out a couple of days ago. I'm gonna have the new rule set on screen for you guys right now and like a few things that should be banned are not such as Molotovs which are extremely powerful for like literally every game mode and hopefully Sledgehammer updates the rule sets for rank play soon. Now that I've gone over a few issues that need to be fixed and addressed, I want to talk to you guys about one thing that I absolutely love and it's that in rank play all variants are banned and they really should be because some of these variants have some amazing iron sights and they do add some better accuracy if the right player is using it so banning variants was a pretty good thing on Sledgehammer's part. But like I said, ranked play does have potential to be a pretty fun game mode with friends and something Sledgehammer can do to make this better is if they add a way for you to create a team like an actual team of four in game with a team name, a team emblem, all that kind of stuff in game because I feel that adds more personality and fun to the playlist. Also another thing Sledgehammer is doing right now that I love is they add exclusive helmets for each player that will be awarded when they reach a different tier in game. And also players who are ranked in the top 100 in Masters will have a little logo to show that. And again, I feel that adds more personality to the player and the playlist as a whole. But in general, ranked play seems to be okay to me. I'm going to wait until I can play with friends and some more updates come out to finally make a decision. But right now, Sledgehammer needs to find a way for players to earn XP or at least supply jobs or else nobody is going to play ranked play. So guys, tell me your thoughts about ranked play in the comments. Like, how do you guys feel about the ranked playlist so far within a few days? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Tell me your thoughts. And drop like if you guys did enjoy the video. And thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.